I'm going to show you the ring moves, how to flip this ring properly in order to get the most visual impact from the audience. When they're watching it, the way that this moves around the card is very important as how the audience perceives that move. I'm going to get into that. First of all, I got my ring at Walmart. I did not get this at a magic shop. I got this at Walmart for like a dollar. They have them there in the where they sell yarn, thread, that stuff. Bingo, you got these rings and they have different sizes. This one's, I've got a pretty big hand. So that's, here's the card. This is probably the smallest you would want to get. Get two sizes. Get a large one and a small one. Practice with the large one so you're not hitting the card. Wait until you get a little bit more mastery with the ring move before you use a ring this size. Doesn't leave much room for error. Not much room on all sides of the card. So you have to actually go through it perfectly. You could start with a larger size ring. That's how I used to do it when I used to train. I used a larger size. And when they started to get it good, they would move to this size. This is the perfect size. Text free to 407-214-5178 and get our free subscription of Inside Theater Magic.